It was just over a year ago that James Timken became the chairman of the Ohio Republican Party, the first woman to hold the position. Tonight, she was in Howland speaking in a predominantly Democratic county that voted for Donald Trump. Spreading the Republican message is our top story at 10. Before the Trumbull County Republican Party's Lincoln Day dinner at Leo's Restaurant, I talked politics with Jane Timken, chairman of the Ohio Republican Party. We started with why Trumbull County has so few Republicans in elected positions. We're going to be active in helping Trumbull County this year and beyond. Um, that's why I'm here to help their candidates. Jane Timken is from Cincinnati, went to Harvard, and is married to Tim Timken, who runs Timken Steel in Canton. I put 40,000 miles on the car in last year. Now she's traveling Ohio, campaigning for Republicans, and has her eye on one of the Youngstown area's congressional seats. I'd love to have um, Tim Ryan find some other line of work. Um, we'll see. She also thinks incumbent Democrat Sherrod Brown is vulnerable. 17 of the 24 counties that voted for Sherrod Brown in 2012 went for Trump. Tim can call Donald Trump an unconventional president who's getting the job done, but gave no indication she would support Ohio's top Republican, Governor John Kasich, who appears to already be campaigning for the 2020 presidential election. As it stands now, I'm a strong supporter of the president. Timken says there needs to be more women in politics. I'm a woman. I'm the head of the Republican Party. But in the Ohio House of Representatives, only 23 percent are women. And in the Ohio Senate, only 18 percent are women. I look at it as my job to try to be a role model. I always say if you, you can't be it if you don't see it. And women need to see more women in leadership roles. Between Mahoning, Trumbull, and Columbiana counties, there is only one Republican in either the Ohio House or Senate, Tim Gittner of Salem. Both bodies are dominated by Republicans. So I asked Jane Timken if that hurts this area when the decisions are made in Columbus, and she said it doesn't help. 